Congratulations, Eli. All right, Antonio, thank you for your time. I was going to ask, last night on HBO, Adrian Broner scored a victory over Vicente Escobedo. Uh, did you happen to see the fight? After the fight, Adrian Broner, he said he's moving up to the lightweight division and he called out, one of the people he called out, he said he wants the WBC belt and he called out Antonio DeMarco. Um, I'm just curious for Antonio's thoughts on that. Okay, um, Broner Does he have any personal opinions on John Molina? Um, I know, you know, everybody knows he's fighting on the Ward Dawson card. Um, what's his thoughts on his fight with John Molina? What does he think of John Molina as a fighter? Okay, and 
where can he tell me a little bit about his training camp like where is his camp located and what is a typical day of training like for him okay <laughs> Vamos a pelear a nivel de mar, francamente, el que es disciplinado y el que quiere ser alguien en la vida y quiere sobresalir en esto del boxeo, no ocupa irse a ningún lado <risa> a un campamento. Yo soy feliz, dile que mi, mi principal motor es mi hija y mi esposa. Y yo tengo que estar con ellos para yo estar contento y hacer una buena y excelente preparación. Yo estoy aquí en Tijuana, incluso me traje ahorita a mis padres de los moches para acá, para estar todo, todo en familia y que todo surja de una manera buena. Si yo, si yo estoy con mi familia, yo estoy contento y voy mucho más contento al gimnasio y a pelear. Yo ahorita estoy, estoy, estoy súper motivado por, por llegar a esa pelea y mostrarle a la gente, a HBO, que, que soy un campeón que quiere durar un buen rato ahí. Ok. She'd say, like, to be a good champion, you don't need to go to training camp. You could do it whatever you want. Right now, he's in Tijuana with his family. He's training there. He just brings his family, his mother and his father, for los noches to Tijuana so they could spend time with him. And he's very, very motivated. His biggest motivation is his wife and his daughter. They are the, the, the model to motivate him and make him go far, forward in, in his career. Like, you don't think like you need to go nowhere to train, like to make a special training. You just need to do what he does every day in order to keep being who he is. And he wants HBO to see the way he is and keep him on his path so he could get more exposure. Great. And just curious, did he happen to see last weekend's um, fight where Amir Khan was uh, knocked out in an upset to Danny Garcia? Did he see the fight? Okay. Él quiere saber si la semana pasada viste la pelea donde noquearon a Amir Khan, a mi García. Sí, que sí, como no, sí, sí, como no, ahí, ahí lo estaba viendo en mi casa. Y, y más ganas, es, es que uno como peleador quiere eh, más retos, más duros, eh, que sean los retos que, que entre comillas para la gente sea más difícil, porque para uno o, o, o para mí como persona o como peleador, nada nada es imposible. Y, y créeme que, que la miré porque me agrada subir de peso. <risa> me agradaría irme a las 140 libras, pero te voy a ser sincero, no somos nadie todavía. Somos campeones del mundo, pero tenemos que consolidarnos y con mucho gusto ir a retos mayores como a las 140 libras. Okay. Yes, you very, very motivated because it's ain't like that's the kind of fight he's looking for. And that made him think to go up to 140 pounds because they have a lot of challenge for him there. But like, he just take one day at a time and try to do his best right now with what he has right now. Like his mind is in what he's doing now Later on, everything will show up. But for now, he deal with what is in front of him. Yeah. He wants he want that kind of fight. <laughs> Great, thank you. And last question I was going to ask. You know, Freddie Roach trained Amir Khan for that for the fight, and uh, Antonio knows Freddie Roach very well because Freddie Roach was in the corner of Jorge Linares, you know, who Antonio beat. And Freddie Roach has 
some of his fighters have had some tough losses. You know, Amir Khan, Jorge Linares, and, you know, Manny Pacquiao recently. I'm just curious on Freddie Roach's kind of run of bad luck. And do you think, um, just what are his thoughts on Freddie Roach as a trainer? Okay. Y que últimamente todos los peleadores de Freddy Roach están perdiendo. El Pacquiao, Linares y ahora Takan. Si piensas que es una mala racha para Freddy Roach o piensas que es algo que esté mal en el entrenamiento. No, es. 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 es, 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 es es un gran entrenador, Freddy Roche es, es uno de los mejores del mundo, eh, eh, aparte de todo, eh, al que le pregunte te va a decir que es una excelente persona, y no, creo que es creo que es, es, es una racha, son momentos que, que este hermoso deporte nos da, porque créeme que las peleas perdidas es, es algo muy bonito, porque te das cuenta el equipo de trabajo que está siempre contigo, si se queda ahí es porque es, es algo valioso y que uno tiene que valorar. Creo que es una mala racha solamente porque eso no le quita a Fred Roche mérito alguno, al contrario, le da más mérito porque él quiere seguir con los retos y seguir ahí con ellos. Para mí es, es una mala racha solamente. Um, this happened, what happened to him happened to anybody, but you know he's going to be out of that and everything going to be okay um, later on. And that's why so many people love and respect Freddie because he always been committed to the boxers and to the sport. And the same way things that happen right now, good things going to happen later on the way that was happening before. So. You don't think like you need to worry that much. It's like the thing will happen. Great. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Antonio. Best of luck to you, and we'll be talking to you soon.